to my husband that are an entire identity and family to my children. Only one at that time. There are three now. So um, I, we eventually landed in Lagos. And when I went to Nigeria, we spent five and a half weeks and we toured the country with an ABC bus. We, I saw a lot. I saw a lot. But above all, what I saw was love. I, I traveled to Nigeria as a white privileged woman, of course. But what I experienced was unity. It didn't, didn't matter if I was in Lagos, if I was in Abuja, in Port Harcourt, in the village. Wherever I went to, what I saw was smiling people. What I saw was people that were willing to share their last loaf of bread with me. I saw people that, when I met my husband's family, his dad is a retired captain from the Nigerian army. As a white woman, I was very afraid that I'm not going to meet his expectations because of course he will have expectations towards me. <laughs> the first time I met him, I walked up the stairs of the house and I will never forget, he told me, welcome home, my daughter. And anything happening in Nigeria today concerns me in a fact that I scare and I fear for my family's life. I fear for my children's future because eventually they are going to return home. Because they are not seen as Germans. They are not being claimed by white supremacy. They are not being claimed by, by a permanently white society. My children, are, even though they have a white mother, their first language is German, are being outcasted in the country they were born in. My children identify as Nigerians first. So one day my children shall return home and continue a fight all of us started. I want to be part of that fight because it concerns me because people in Nigeria gave me a home. I became home in a foreign place and I don't know if any one of you can relate to what that means. I went to Nigeria as a foreigner but I left as an auntie, as a sister, as a cousin, as a friend to amazing people that their life is on the line right now. I went to Nigeria leaving people behind that call me on the phone and ask our wife, how are you doing? There is unconditional love in our family that doesn't matter if I'm German, that doesn't look at our passports, our ethnicity. I found true love when I went to Nigeria because in Germany, Germany taught me how cold Germany is. You can stay 30 years in the same house. You don't know your fucking neighbors. You don't know who is living behind you. You don't know what they're doing behind clothes. That doesn't live in Nigeria. In Nigeria, I go to the village market, two, two villages, and they say, oh, our wife, how are you doing? They know I'm belonging to this family. I left Nigeria, but I left my heart in Nigeria. So anything that happens in Nigeria affects all of us. As brothers, as sisters, as aunties, mothers, as human beings. So I want to have all of you in unity. I want us to remember that above the pain, above the corruption and above the killings, Nigerians are among the most amazing people I've ever met in my entire life. And I want us to remember that at the end of the day, Nigeria remains the giant of Africa, not because of the leaders, but because every Nigerian does their own part for that. I want us to remember that among all of us rules love and unity. And this is what we are supposed to let love lead. I love you all and I'm so grateful for everybody that came here. As we started this, one and a half weeks ago, we never expected even 20 people to turn up. And now we are here with a bunch of people sharing the same feelings and the same fears. And I'm grateful that everybody that came here, and I just want us to listen to Bonaboy's song. He wrote a song, Monsters We Made. And I think it fits the situation. It fits the atmosphere. And it fits whatever Nigerians are going through and have been going through for the last... 500 years because this is not a matter of 60 years of independence this is the last 500 years of white supremacy ruling in africa thank you everybody that came here and did your own part thank you all for showing up for feeling with us for uniting us and thank you for giving every non-nigerian unity and love like i was 
received in Nigeria, I pray one day black people will be received like this in the Western world. Yeah.